Hello, my name is Carl Hindle, Technical Product Specialist with One Identity. In this video, we're going to look at how to create a CLI user within TPAM and then how to use that CLI user to retrieve a password. First, we're going to set up the user within the TPAM interface and download the key file. Then we're going to give the CLI user some permissions to an account. Then we're going to perform a password retrieve using SSH on a Linux system. And then finally, we'll look at doing the password retrieve using Putty's plink command. First, we're going to log into the TPAM interface with the administrator account. And we're going to go to users and groups, user IDs, and we're going to add a user ID. I'm calling this user CLI user, and we have to enter a last name and first name. going to untick allow web access, we're going to click on save and it's going to error because we need to go to the key base tab first, tick CLI and then click save. After this is saved we'll be able to download the key and you can see the ID at DSA key. Before we use the key we're going to give the CLI user a permission on one of the accounts. So we're going to look at my system at dc.yourdomain.com. We're going to look at the accounts on that system. Okay, we're going to give access to the service account password to the CLI user. I'm going to use a text filter here. CLI user. Okay, and then I'm going to click here and then select ISA which allows me to do a password retrieve so I don't need to go through a request process. I'm going to save that and that's done. My DSA key over. So I'm going to run the SSH command and point it towards the key file. And I'm going to log in with the CLI user that I've created and enter the IP address correctly to the TPAM box. It's going to help the issue the help command. So here it's failed because the permissions on the key file are too open. So I'm going to change the permissions so that no other groups or other can read it. And we'll give it another go. And that one, that one worked. So the one we are interested in is the retrieve option. So run that with the help command. And we can see all the uh, all the options and whether they're required or optional. So because my CLI user is an ISA user, all I need is the system name and the account name. So I'll enter the system name for my DC and the account name for my service account that I gave permissions to. Okay, I need to learn to spell account name correctly. And then we'll try that again. Excellent. So this is a secret password, is the actual password set in TPAM on that account. And here I just uh, run the SSH command against another account that I haven't got permissions for. And you'll see, you'll get this error, you're not authorized to perform the operation. So, given ISA would correct that. It's worth noting that the CLI username is case sensitive. So if you were to use an incorrect case, as in the different from the one in the web interface, you will get an error. Also, the CLI is non-interactive, so you won't be able to get a shell, and you can just run one command in, in it before it exits. Here's an example using the test system command.
in order to use the key file in PuTTY, we'll need to convert it. So I've downloaded the, all the required files from the website. And then I'm going to load up the PuTTY Gen application. Click on load and point it to the ID DSA key that we previously downloaded from TPAM. There we go. Uh, click OK. And then click on save private key. Click yes. And then enter a file name. So that's the key file now converted into PPK format. We should be able to use it with PLink. So plink hyphen i and point it towards a file. Okay, we'll try that again. Point it towards a key file. Thanks, and then we'll log in, see our user at the IP address, and we'll try and run the help command. So excellent, that works. So now we'll try and do the retrieve. Exactly the same command as we did on the Linux system, using the system name and the account name. And here we have the password. This concludes our videos for today. For more information on One Identity, please visit our portal. Thanks for watching.